Kevin McManaman's goal in the 2011 All Ireland Football Final against Kerry, a crucial goal, one that changed the momentum of the game and sort of led to Dublin going on to win that All Ireland Final with the Stephen Cluxton free. Uh, just going back to the play before Dublin actually get possession, Kerry win possession from a Dublin kick out. Uh, a couple of things to note here, you'll see here is Kevin McManaman, the eventual goal scorer. So he's come on as a substitute, he's full of energy, um, he's trying to get busy, get on, get possession, get on the ball. You'll see Declan O'Sullivan here, he's playing centre forward, he's kind of dropped off Keen O'Sullivan, his man. Um, to try and offer some support around, out around the middle. Um, the other thing to note from this uh, frame is that you'll see the, the Dublin half forward line. So here's Ono Gara, he's coming tracking his man. You'll see uh, Alan Brogan here on the left of your screen. He either ignores his opponent, who's Killian Young, or he just doesn't want to follow him or doesn't know he's there. I don't know. You'll see the, the Moir Ishka there and Moir Forna. He's telling someone to watch out for Killian Young because he's after making this run and there's space out in the wing. Um, Brogan probably realises too late um, and then he kind of just starts tracking back. But that the ball comes to Declan O'Sullivan and it goes out the wing there to Killian Young. And uh, Brogan has come back here to try and, I suppose, find a bit of work. He's probably realised that his man is on the ball here and I need to do something. Um, but Young is in plenty of room and no one, no one on him and just kind of inexplicably uh, loses concentration and just drops the ball and it sort of stalls the move a little bit. He would have you know, probably attacked up the wing, had a man in front of him there, had um, Darren O'Sullivan as well. Uh, Dublin were getting back but it just kind of stalled the move a little bit and allowed Keane O'Sullivan and McManaman to get a little bit of pressure on the ball. Uh, but Young gets it back to... Um, O'Sullivan. O'Sullivan probably should have gone out to the wing here um, rather than go back into traffic. Uh, I do feel bad for pointing out Declan O'Sullivan here making a few mistakes. I wouldn't call them, mis well he make, probably makes one mistake but uh, such a great player and I, I don't mean to highlight him, overly highlight him but he is kind of central to this play. Um, but he, he probably should have gone out to the wing but he tries to go back into the middle Alan Brogan, who has followed Killian Young, has got something on the ball. He gets some sort of a touch on it. And uh, Keane O'Sullivan, who was on the ground, gets up really quickly, you'll see here. Uh, good desire from him, gets up quickly and manages to get it on the ball. Now, one thing to notice is that once the ball is given away, three lads in the move absolutely peg it forward. So you've got McMenamin here, Brogan here, Declan O'Sullivan is just giving the ball away and they just leg it towards the hillside. So there's Brogan and McMenamin and O'Sullivan just puts the head down and he just boots it back. They're four points up. He's just saying, oh, I'm just going to get back in defence here and help out whatever is there. So he just puts the head down and runs back. Now, arguably, again, who knows how it would have turned out, but arguably if he had a step there in front of Brogan or McMenamin, he would have cut out an option for Keane O'Sullivan uh, to fun because you know Sullivan passes up here to Alan Brogan. Um, you could also say maybe if one of the players had stepped in front of Keno Sullivan here would have halted the momentum, but um, obviously you don't want to be encouraging that sort of play. Uh, but as it happens, as it transpires, Keno Sullivan finds Alan Brogan. Alan Brogan gives it on to McMenamin. Declan Sullivan has come all the way back here, um, uh, but McMenamin, I mean, great center, low center of gravity, good feet. He gets it on to his... He steps past O'Sullivan and buries it to the back of the net. Now, I don't want every video to be me just counting steps of what the players take, but uh, I guess I, I should do it here because he takes a few. So he has the possession. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine before he kicks the ball. Okay, so nine steps, but I mean... Again, a bit like Merchant, quick steps. Uh, but he does really well here, McMenamin. He has, he has Brogan telling him to pass inside, or, or I think to possibly Michael Darr McCauley. Now, McCauley probably admit himself, he's probably not the best at shooting for points or goals. Um, Brogan is pointing at something, and then once he steps inside, Brogan is looking for the ball. 
But again, I think McManaman makes a good decision not to give it to Brogan because I think a combination of Mark O'Shea and I think that's Thomas Sullivan uh, would have swallowed him up. But Brogan is important there because he's probably making noise and Mark O'Shea probably hears that. He probably hears him screaming and maybe Mark O'Shea is saying, well, I can't go to McManaman because if I do, Brogan's inside me. So you see, he lets O'Sullivan go and he probably expects O'Sullivan to do a little bit better but he doesn't and Mark O'Shea is kind of caught in no man's land there uh, and a good finish from McMenamin in the end we we'll just have a look from the behind the goal angle because I think it's uh, it's kind of worth seeing just to repeat some of the, the points uh, you'll see here here's Declan O'Sullivan he's just again running back he's not even looking at the play he probably realises Brogan is a danger man Brogan is the main man for, for Dublin back in those days uh, and he probably realises too late maybe if he'd have gotten over there sooner uh, he could have stalled the play a little more Mark O'Shea is, is busy here with Brogan keeping him occupied making sure he doesn't get the ball possibly fouling him there kind of uh, quite close to him but um, probably worked out for Dublin in the end and O'Sullivan Declan O'Sullivan gets there but he's probably just too tired and McMenamin great step off the right, I mean, keeps his speed going, uh, great feet, and O'Sullivan just can't get anything on him. And um, McMenamin, I mean, probably not the best finish in the world, just into the middle of the net here, but keeps it low, keeps it hard, um, keeps it hard, uh, keeps it low anyway, uh, and finishes well. So, yeah, that's that's my analysis of the goal. A uh, couple of little elements picked out. Uh, if you like the videos, give it a like and subscribe. I'll be doing a few more over the next coming weeks.